This is the second part of our first lesson. And in this lesson, we will be solving systems of, of equations. It's a, a very basic skill that's needed in order to do the, the uh, AP calculus test. But we're going to use two methods. First method, we're going to use no calculator. And then with the second method, we're going to use calculator. So this should be nothing more than a review of the general method. There's other methods of doing this. Use whatever feels comfortable. Uh, we want to solve this system right here. In other words, we want to find a value for x and a value for y that will make both of these true. And probably the best method to do this, this type of problem, is I'm going to choose to eliminate one of the variables. And I will choose x. I will choose to eliminate x. And so what we need to do is multiply the top by the top equation by some number, and then the bottom of, of the equation, the bottom equation by another number. So we get uh, opposite values for coefficients of x here. So in this one. If I want to eliminate x, I am going to multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 3. As a result, if I multiply the top by 2, I will get negative 6x plus 20y equal 10, and the bottom will change to 6x plus 21y equals 72. All right, notice how we get negative 6x and 6x, so when we add them together, they will cancel. If you would have went for the y's, uh, you could have multiplied the top by negative 7, so you get negative 70y, and the bottom by positive 10, so you get 70y. And then they would have canceled that way. Again, this is uh, totally up to you which one you choose to eliminate and what method you use. So if I add, add down here, I, the x is canceled, and I will get 41y equals uh, 10 plus 72 equals 82. And therefore, we get y equals 2. You can plug uh, 2 in for y on any of these to find out what x is. And so uh, I'll use this one. I don't like negatives. So we get 2x plus 7 times 2 equal 24. 2x plus 14 equal 24. 2x equal 10, x equal 5, and so our solution is x equal 5, y equal 2, or 5. And you might want to plug it in just to make sure negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, plus 20 equal 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 7 times 2 is 14, so that is your solution. And again, this is nothing new to you. Just use whatever method is comfortable. All right, the second one, uh, you may not be familiar with this. We are going to use a, uh, use a calculator for doing this. We might have done this last year in pre-calculus. Uh, so in order to do this, we're going to hit second, trace or count button, Five intersect. That is located there's second button, and there's your trace count. And so, uh, if we do it on here, hit second count. And so we're going to hit five intersect. I think you can push five also. All right. Uh, and the next button you use. This is from the previous one. First thing we've got to do. Let's go with this right here. We want to enter this equation, both of these equations in there. And so we will 
hit the Y equal button. And delete whatever we had there before. Clear whatever we had there before. So I'm going to enter 5x minus 2 and negative 2x plus 5. And when we graph these, uh, I'm going to set it up to where we do zoom standard. So hit the zoom button right here. And we will go for zoom 6, zoom standard. And it should graph both of these on here. And so we want to find what the coordinates of this intersection is of these two lines. So I'm going to hit second, trace, intersect. And first curve, if you can see the cursor here, if you move it around. That's on that line. Just hit, uh, just hit enter, and then it moves into the second curve. Hit enter, and guess you can just hit enter again, and it says the intersection is at x equal one, y equal three. So that is the solution to this system. All right, example two. Uh, we've got this, but before we can enter these like so, we've got to solve for y. So I'm going to do this real quick, standard procedure, uh, 4y equal negative 3x minus 1, uh, y equal, and then I divide everything by 4, negative 3 fourths x minus 1 fourth. So that's what we will enter for y1 or y2. And if I went too fast there, you have that kind of idea of the thing I four. Second one. Uh, negative, don't forget the negative, negative 2y equal negative 6x plus 3. Divide everything by negative 2. And we get um, y equals 3x uh, minus 3 halves, or 1.5, 1, 1, 1 half, I do matter. So we're going to enter those two equations on our calculator. So negative 3 divided by 4 order of operations, it, it should be okay if you just enter it like this. It might be a good practice to put that in parentheses. Uh, it's not going to affect it any, but whenever you're dealing with fractions, uh, you might want to get a good habit of doing that. So minus 1 divided by 4. Or if you know the decimal equivalent, just use negative 0.75 and one, two, five. It might be easier. Second one, uh, 3x minus 3 divided by 2 or 1.5. Get that. And then you hit second, calc, intersect. And there you've got your 2. There's 1. Intersect, so we've got to find this intersection. Uh, first curve, just hit enter. Second curve, hit enter. Yes, hit enter. All right, and so you're, you're not going to get whole numbers. You may recognize that as one third. Uh, in the AP calculus test, in these instances, they always round off to the nearest thousand. So that's what we'll do. So our solution is 0 .333, 0 uh, negative 0.5. Third problem, y equal 3x minus 5, x squared, so we've got the nonlinear. And if you notice, it's a good thing to be able to recognize what type of equations or graphs 
to go with what type of equations. And this particular one is the equation of a circle. And like I said, it's good to recognize this for calculus. Uh, so when we do this, uh, this is already in an acceptable form. This one, we've got to solve for y again so we can enter it on our calculus here. And um, if you recall, if you want to get rid of a square, you take the square root of both sides. So we get y equals square root of negative x squared plus 5. But when you graph this, you're only going to get the top part of this circle. So what you're going to do say post y2, y3, is to use, since you manufacture this, you're going to use plus minus. And so for the top, let's use plus, or you know, just make it plus, the bottom will have negative x squared plus 5. So in this one, we're going to have three equations to enter. This one right here, right here, and right here. So first one, y1, and it doesn't matter which, where, which one you enter in what place. Uh, second one, got your square root button there, negative x squared plus 5. Get in the habit of finishing off, finishing off with a capital parentheses there. And then we want the negative. And remember to use this. Don't use the minus button. Use the negative button. In the error message. And graph it. There's your line. And even though this doesn't look like a perfect circle, it is. It's just the, uh, the scaling for the x and y axes are different, so that's why it doesn't look like a circle. <laughs> so we've got something like this. So we've got to look up two antigen. You've got to find the coordinates of both of those two points. Still the procedure is the same, it's just we've got to do it one at a time. Uh, we get second, calc, intercept. Okay, first curve, let's go for this one. So we want our cursor, when we work with this, to be, in both cases, to be around this point. And if you notice, it's up there, so we've got to move this down. And you do that by hitting the down button until you see, you're sure the cursor is on that bottom circle, or bottom half circle. I hit that, yes, and our intersection is 1, negative 2, so that's one solution. Then we go for the top, so hit second, count intersect. And first curve, we want to bring it up, move the cursor so it goes up near the top one. Hit enter. Second curve, I can't see the cursor here, so you're going to have to play around with the buttons until you see something. There it is. Notice it's on the bottom curve. We don't want it down there because it will pull it towards that solution and we want this one. So keep in mind, these are two separate equations. I'm just going to hit the up arrow, and that will get us to this one. You might want to scoot that a little closer. Second curve, yes. And that is at 2, 1. And so these are your two solutions to this system of equations. And that's what you get. All right? So for your assignment, if you've seen this video, uh, if you've seen this in the prior video, pri uh, before the Friday class, you're going to have the entire period, which is about one hour, I believe, to work on this assignment. You should get it done. Uh, <coughs> these aren't too hard up here. Do page 8 through 11 in your book. Number 2, 6 through 14 all. Don't graph them. It says graph. Don't graph them. 18 through 36 even. 
39 and 45 all. Uh, and then on the worksheet, which I will load onto the website along with the videos here, or I'll have, I'll have and pass them out in class also. Uh, 22 through 30 even, don't use a calculator. 53 through 60 all. 